Now, representing the class of 2016 as your student speaker is Amanda Archer from Amelia County. Amanda has been an active advocate for her peers on campus, including service as the student representative to the Board of Visitors. And Amanda is a member of the softball team, the honors program, and Phi Theta Kappa. Amanda plans to attend Virginia Wesleyan University in the fall. Please join me in welcoming class speaker, Amanda Archer. Good evening. <laughs> President Saito, distinguished faculty, members of the board, friends, families, and fellow members of the Richard Bland College of William and Mary class of 2016. It is my distinct pleasure to address you all on behalf of the student body. When they told me I was going to be giving the graduation speech, I admit I was nervous. I asked myself, what on earth do I speak about to students, excuse me, <laughs> graduates that attended such a unique college? Unique in that it's the only two-year residential college in the Commonwealth of Virginia, unique in its rich history, and unique in its ultimate mission, to prepare us for transfer and success. So they told me I was to say something inspiring. So when I think of something inspiring, I think of the parents, grandparents, and family members, many of which are in attendance, who worked two jobs to make college happen for their child. Some stayed for a lifetime to make this a reality. They sacrificed and did without to make sure their son or daughter was able to attend RBC and earn their degree. I think of my classmates who stayed up late, sometimes not sleeping at all, studying for that test. I think about the joy we all experienced when our instructors would give us the graded test and there was an A at the top. When you look at your classmates with the look of relief that indeed you had passed, that only pushed us to be better. So I think some of us have already been that inspiration to ourselves and to our classmates. As stated before, my name is Amanda Archer. I was born and raised in Amelia, Virginia, a place most of you have never heard of before and probably won't remember after this speech. I have a brother, sister, and two loving parents. I was a first generation college student, but I stand before you today as a first generation college graduate. Choosing a college that best fit my small town personality was difficult, but once I discovered Richard Blaine College, I knew it would be home. While at RBC, I have been a member of the softball team, Phi Theta Kappa, the Honors Program, the Student Representative to the Board of Visitors, and this past year I've worked in the library. Like any other college student, I've been through breakups, bad grades, illnesses, and the freshman 15. We got to experience basketball, won a national championship, softball, won the conference consecutively, and I hope make lasting relationships with classmates we may not met have we not attended here. Yet with all of these experience, some of my proudest moments were on the field beside my sisters, and I am excited to say I will continue the softball portion of my life at Virginia Wesleyan College. As for the rest of it, that is a chapter of our lives that comes to a close. We won't get to walk the halls of McNear, eat at the calf, or stay up late talking to our roommates. Instead, we will begin our careers or begin the pursuit of our bachelor's degrees. So I won't stand up here and tell you to follow your dreams, because why else would you have worked hard for these past two years? I won't tell you to change the world, because no matter how you see it or if you don't know it, you already have. I won't tell you that today is a bright day full of hope and promise, because every day is bright and full of hope and promise. As I close, I leave you with this quote by Dr. Seuss, who once stated that, there are so many things you can learn about, but you'll miss the best things if you keep your eyes shut. The best things in life are things we never thought that would be. Don't spend another moment of your life rushing, and remember to always keep your eyes open. Congrats, RBC class of 2016. We did it. <laughs> 